So let's look at a connected rates of change problem. Here is a square um, of length x, and I've written the area down as a. The side of a square is increasing at a rate of 30 centimetres per second. Find the rate at which the area of the square is increasing when the side of the square is 11 centimetres. So we need three bits of information. Okay. Um, one is the bit that we're trying to find, and that's really what I'd like to write down first. We're asked to find the rate at which the area of the square is increasing. So the rate at which the area is increasing with respect to time would be dA by dt. Okay? That is what we want to find. Now, we're told that the side of the square of a square is increasing at a rate of 30 centimetres per second. So the side of the square is, d, is x. So we can then say that dx by dt, the rate at which the side is increasing with respect to time, is equal to 30. Okay, so we've got that bit of information. So we now know that we have a dA by dt, and a dx by dt. So in order to use the chain rule, we must have dA by dx and a dx by dt. And we know what the dx by dt is, so we need to find this dA by dx. Now this is the rate at which the area is changing with respect to the side, with respect to x. So we know that the area of a square would just be given as x squared. Okay, so x times x. So dA by dx would be 2x. So if we're looking at the rate at which the area of the square is increasing when the side of the square is 11 centimetres, that's when x is 11. So dA by dx when x is 11 is 2 times 11, so 22. And dx by dt was 30. Okay, so 22 times 30, which would give us 660. Okay, so it would be dA by dt, so it's um, centimetres squared per second. Okay. So that's the rate at which the area of the square is increasing when the side is 11 centimetres. So it is increasing at 660 centimetres squared per second.